All right, guys, Eric with Retro Rides. We got the trailer hooked up to the truck. You know what that means? We're gonna go pick up something. Uh, we've already rescued Dane's Plymouth this morning. Slight issue, that'll be fixed, but we're gonna head over to Prineville and uh, visit uh, Rideman Ranch, and they do full custom chassis and everything. We ordered some a while back, and they're ready to pick up. So those, uh, let's see, we've got a front and back half, uh, fabricated chassis uh, set up for air ride. One is for the 55 Chevy first series, and we got a back half kit for the 59 fleet side, which I don't even know if you guys have seen that, but I've had that truck for over 10 years. And uh, let's go get some fun stuff. Yeah. One wheel coming through. Needs to be saved. You never know. You could croak. Never see it. Hey guys, Eric with Retro Rides with Dane, and Hello. we're here at Rideman Ranch with Spencer, and uh, he's going to give us the tour. He builds one-off frames and custom setups for your, what do you do? What do you do here, Spencer? Oh, well, we got a little bit of everything going. Uh, we have chassis now, uh, officially from 47 to 87 uh, GMC and Chevy. That's good range. Uh, all truck lines. Yeah. Uh, Starting here, I mean, we got the five through nine stuff. Uh, so all, for all the Apache guys. I'll take that. Yep. Uh, moving on, we got C10 chassis. We got C10 kits. We got different ranges of C10 chassis all the way over to the final assembled stuff too. So when you get stuff in, you, all this is scratch built, right? Yes. So you get it in from flat steel and uh, where do you start? Yeah, Somebody so, orders a C10 chassis, what do we do here? You know, actually uh, we got a delivery this morning so we can just walk through the whole entire process. Let's do it. Uh, so everything we get is uh, through a couple manufacturers here in the Northwest and Chicago. So Far West Steel will drop off. Uh, there's 10 sheets of 3 16 P and O in here. Nice. Um, All your frame rail stuff is generally 3 16 Yep. Cool. So we then will take that over to the plasma table. Uh, we process everything into uh, essentially the flat parts. Uh, you can kind of see some of the skeletons and whatnot that's left out from these. Uh, from there, we do finish sand all of our uh, components before. Mm -hmm. So it goes through the easy sander. Um, it gives it a nice I real- I need one uh, of those, that'd be awesome. Nice finish uh, <laughs> before we process it over to the press break. Um, press break, everything uh, is formed off of prints that we design in house. Um, so nothing uh, too fancy, but a booklet of endless parts that go through here. Yeah, cheat sheets. <laughs> How um, long have you been doing chassis? So we started doing chassis in 2016. Nice. So. And you're from the valley, is that right, somewhere? We, we are from the valley. We're at? Uh, not Portland. <laughs> not Portland, okay, perfect. No, we're from Sandy. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. So, right um, what brought you over here? It's amazing over here. <laughs> Good. I love Central Oregon. <laughs> yeah, it's dry, the dry side. Yeah, you can actually uh, see the sunshine every once in a while. Yep, very cool. So yeah, from So there, after you bend up stuff, from there, uh, back to the tables, everything gets welded. We have sub fixtures, uh, as you can see, for like just the back half kit that's going, mm -hmm. uh, all the way to full fixtures. Um, this one has, you know, four points of connection, actually five on uh, on either side. So this is full chassis stuff. What's yep. this one set up for? Uh, so this one specifically is the 6366, uh, which is what you see here. Um, <clears throat> again, everything's brought together after it gets welded, fixtured final welded before it comes out, yep. and then we'll do all final assembly on the ground. So Put control arms, um, you know, Watts link, uh, the cross members all get bolted into it. Uh, as we were talking about over uh, with the mills and the lathes, uh, again, all of our machine parts are done in house too. So billet ball joint caps, uh, the tie rod kits, the motor mounts, uh, the Watts link stuff, all of that's machined on that side. So development throughout the years, have you been changing stuff as you go or has it just been pretty solid out of the gate or, I mean, how do you come up with this? Yeah, so there's been a ton of revisions. Uh, essentially, as everyone knows, 2020 kind of threw sure. everything sideways. Um, so we made revisions there of just design stuff that we could manufacture literally everything in house instead yeah. of having stuff sent out. Yep. Um, from there, yeah, we played with wheelbase, with uh, track widths, uh, wheel center lines, uh, like specifically this chassis, uh, we're moved forward in the front, we're narrowed in the front, 
Uh, we're actually pushed back a little bit in the rear by the time everything sits. So um, we really try to find that perfect balance of look, mm -hmm. of drivability, um, just to make sure the customer gets the overall Customer overall feedback's scope. probably pretty important for better or worse, but kind of keeps you going in the right direction too, you know, yeah. the user end of it. Some guys are nicer than others. Yeah, we'll put it sure. that way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. People don't know what to do if it's not 100% bolt-on, but. That's certainly, you know. it's been something that's came up. That's why we send them to you guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, we thought we were just gonna bolt this on and drive it this weekend, right? right? So. Yep, that's how it goes. Sweet, so what do you got there? Looks like some rear link bars. Yep, just more parts in process. Um, you know, again, a lot of these are for kits, so it's component based. Um, now are all these stuff uh, spoken for? You got customer name, or are you trying to stock up a little bit for builds or? I would love to be stocked up. Uh, <laughs> this is all spoken for as yeah. of right now. Um, our goal is to start stocking chassis by the end of this year, yeah. at least a couple every single month. Nice. Um, but yeah, uh, parts as they kind of come here, we then funnel them out to different pallets and uh, projects, depending on what's gonna be here in the shop. How come all your stuff's not all rusty? I mean, we got stuck with the rusty stuff. You know? So <clears throat> the biggest thing that we do, again, uh, we finish sand everything. Then uh, uh, we use a mixture of like WD-40 and mm -hmm. oils that everything gets coated in prior to. Nice. Um, that way, you know, when we ship the stuff down to Florida, it's not uh, yeah. a nice rust color by the time it shows up. Right. Um, so you guys ship stuff all over the place, and, and did I see you made top 10 chassis builder? Uh, not top 10, I would love to be top 10, yeah. But, but I uh, saw you were somewhere in a magazine no, or something. No, uh, CK was nice enough to, uh, to do a, a write-up on us. Um, we did have some SEMA coverage this year, which was really cool, so cool. slowly growing. Uh, obviously, yeah. it's not a, a crazy setup that we have here, but well, just keep works. plugging away at it. Consistency. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, it's a nice setup you got here. And so what are you working on now? What's, uh, what's your day look like today? Uh, so the day so far has been doing final assembly on this. Uh, this one is going up to actually local, Spokane, I want to say. Yeah, is um, the guy coming down to pick it up? Are you shipping it out? Or? Yeah, so we do, uh, we do both. Um, kits, ship, and uh, local pickup is always available. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy is coming down to pick up his nice. um, sometime next week. Um, so we'll get this palletized. Uh, we fully shrink wrap everything before it leaves. Mm -hmm. Again, going back to making sure there's not rust on everything sure. and, and stuff not looking good. So yeah. um, we'll finish doing this one. And then uh, as we were talking before we got going, I get to go stand over there for a while <laughs> and uh, keep parts going off of these, so. Very cool. What are you working on in the future? Are you just gonna walk down this 47, uh, what'd you say, 88? Yeah, so 47 through 87, 88, I yeah. guess, depending on the rig. Um, yeah, I mean, we'd really like to open up with some new products, but until we can start so stocking up what we got, it's- uh, Yeah, I hear you. Uh, to to get into the OBS and, line and yep. maybe some NBS, huh? Well, thanks again. I'm gonna get out of your hair. You're a busy guy. Good time. Um, it's nice meeting you, man. Uh, let me know if you got questions on stuff. I'm sure you will. Yeah. If we did forget anything, let me know. And I can get uh, battery box stuff going for you. Yeah, holler at me. Yeah, or send me in, boys, or whatever. whatever will get worked out. Okay. Cool. Sounds Thank good. Thank you. Have a good day. Don't work too hard. Good. Just nice meeting you. Here, don't forget this thing. Hey, guys. We are back. Uh, had some lunch. We're gonna get this sucker unwrapped here. It's nice and tight right now. They did a good job wrapping it, but I gotta see what's in there. So let's tear this wrapping off here. Looks like he uses like a uh, boat wrap or something, which is pretty awesome, but let's see what we got here. Uh, wrapped good. Oh, yeah. 
there's nothing fragile in there. We got a rear subframe, a uh, actually two rear subframes. We got one of them is for a 59 Apache. The other rear subframe and front subframe are for a uh, 55 First Series trucks. So got a bunch going on here. Two inch setup. They're all set up for air ride, rack and pinion. Uh, they got rear uh, front sway bars on them. All sorts of goodies in here. Watts links on both of them. Yeah, pretty sweet setup. Those are gonna be nice. 